My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we'll be reviewing two budget solutions for socket sets. Here we've got the HyperTuff from Walmart, and here we've got the Pittsburgh Pro from Harbor Freight. Both of these sets come in at about $10. First off, I'd like to apologize. Definitely had a lot of tool review content on the channel, and that's not what we're all about. I will get back to our, our normal mix of content uh, coming up, but I uh, started off kind of with the Matco Mac Snap-on tool warranty video, and that's just led me down a whole bunch of research with tools, and wanted to share my experience, my feedback, and uh, have a really cool idea planned for uh, these sockets, and uh, we'll be doing a, a durability test on that in the future, so be sure and check out that video as well. Okay, here we've got the Pittsburgh Pro from Harbor Freight, and we've got the HyperTuff from Walmart. This HyperTuff from Walmart had a price tag of $10.88, and the Pittsburgh Pro had a retail price of $8.99, so a little bit cheaper, and with a 20% off coupon, I was able to pick it up for $7.19. First, let's compare the presentation, see if these sets are able to be used um, in their current condition. Um, the HyperTuff does have some little clip cutters you need to cut right here. So they've got a, a sign here that says cut. So we put some dikes in here, which they don't really fit. Because we can try the razor blade. Okay, not too bad. We cut that, and this should pop right out. Easy peasy. I feel like something else is holding this in. Oh, so this needs to pivot out. We're not winning here. Oh boy. That was more difficult than it should have been. So we've got this little cheap socket rail. It does seem to hold them. This can be used as a socket rail. For Pro cannot. We've got these little clips here and you have to kind of get on here and wiggle them off. And once you get them off, you're not putting them back on there, I don't think. So this is a disposable set uh, just for store display. We do have a six point versus a 12 point here. So we're not identical comparison. 11 piece. <laughs> Funny stuff. Okay, so this HyperTuff is an 11 piece because we've got 10 sockets here. We've got a continuous 10 to 19. And we've got this removable, removable and reusable. That's to be laughed at. Uh, that's funny. So 10 piece set here. Then we've got the Pittsburgh Pro, which does skip. Uh, we have a continuous set from uh, 10 to 17, and then we skip 18 and go to 19, and then we skip 21 and we go we skip 20 and 21 and we go to 22 a little bit larger size here um, But we do skip some sizes and the hyper tough is a continuous set since we have such a nice display here. We'll go ahead and And show you that nice display Pull these off Put them back on uh, Definitely something to get you by we'll go ahead and compare compare this 19 We'll compare this 10 with the 19 and 10 of the Pittsburgh Pro. Uh, the numbers are larger on the Pittsburgh Pro, um, but they are deeper on the HyperTuff. They, they really don't say much to them. Pittsburgh Pro does have a part number on there and CR-V for chrome vanadium. And the, um, the HyperTuff don't even say what brand they are. They just say chrome vanadium and that's it. We are comparing a 6 point versus a 12 point and actually the uh, the HyperTuffs have a little bit more uh, intricate detail inside here. You got some different rings and ridges. Um, not sure that that really means anything for you. The HyperTuffs don't look too bad though. Both of them have this ring on the bottom. The uh, HyperTuffs do look like they have a little bit deeper ring as well as it is painted. Uh, the bases here are basically identical from what I can tell. And then at your detent ball, um, the detent ball area is smaller on the HyperTuff than the Pittsburgh Pro. The Pittsburgh Pro does look deeper. I guess we could throw these on a, a ratchet, see how well they come on and come off. Same thing with the, the 10s. We got the same heights. The 19s, the HyperTuff is a little bit taller, which is a good thing on that bigger socket. Um, okay, so that's interesting. So on the 10s here, the markings look, the detent ball surface area is about the same, if not larger on the hyper tufts so that's interesting that the 19s would be different than the 10s so does that mean that there's a manufacturing defect or in the process 
that makes it inconsistent. So here's my Matco ratchet. This was a 60 tooth Matco ratchet. I did my gear wrench upgrade on my gear wrench ratchets. Um, I, so I took the 60 tooth out of this and upgraded it to the 84 tooth from the gear wrench. Oh, this would be a good, a good test for that detent ball. Yeah, I'm not getting, I'm not getting anything. <laughs> not sure what that accomplished. They're pretty close to the same. So, what does this tell us? I don't know, you decide. You know, Harbor Freight versus Walmart, neither one of them are gonna be your most reputable brands. It's gonna get buying a pinch. Yeah, they look like decent stuff. They, they look pretty apples to apples. A um, little bit differences in what you're getting. Um, I'm really curious to see how these hold up to the durability and endurance test. Going to put them through, see which ones wear off, um, and getting these sockets together for the endurance test. I've really been pleased at how many of them are not laser etched. Most of them are actually stamped, so that's uh, really cool. Um, and the, the test of time will only uh, give us the results. So visual differences, um, there you go. Take it for what it's worth. Thanks for watching this comparison review on the Harbor Freight versus Walmart socket sets. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you uh, have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. Today is the day of one takes. Highly unlikely, but we'll give it a shot. I think it's the first word I've said all morning. I'm up here by myself. I haven't talked at all, <clears throat> so my voice is probably not rolling yet. Versus Walmart socket sets. Uh, if, you, if you 